conflict as a social interaction is inevitable, but within the framework of peace and security, conflict takes on a different, more destructive dimension. Recurring and long-running conflict remain Africa's biggest challenge and an obstacle to its social and economic development. Eu fui raptada em 1998 no lugar do meu camisa e eu fiquei no eh, na comuna do Yuva a fazer travessia do rio Quando fazendo transbordo de material do, pro tempo da Unita. Cultural, racial or social conflict. No even in a ghetto to get a gun is easy than to get a job. Or conflict over water and land use. Quand moi je suis arrivé, lui, il était avec les pètes dans le champ en train de manger. Les pètes mangent, lui, il est à côté, il les regarde. Quand je suis arrivé, je lui demande, devant toi là, tu vois, c'est quoi là-bas, et puis c'est comme ça. C'est là-bas qu'il m'a tapé. Or gender-based violence. I always call it um, a gender paradox. We see women were at the forefront uh, of the revolution and the, these uprisings, uh, yet at the same time there was a, and still continues a systematic political violence against women. For the African Union, the worthy goal to silence the guns by ending all wars, conflicts, gender-based violence and preventing genocide remains its top priority. And although significant progress has been made to silence the continent's guns, a lot more still needs to be done. And the search for peace has inspired grassroots movements across the continent. These voices for peace are transforming communities by advocating non-violent means of resolving conflicts. Mediation and reconciliation are being seen as the preferred methods of settling differences, be it during clashes over natural resources in the Sahel or between farmers and nomadic herders in northern Togo. There is now a determined effort to find amicable solutions to disputes with positive results. Au niveau des cantons, ce, ce, cet organe est appelé Conseil des sages de prévention et de gestion des conflits fonciers. La troisième chose, c'est effectivement de jouer le rôle de médiateur et de conciliateur. Lorsque deux parties sont déjà en litige, alors ils interviennent pour vraiment amener les deux parties à s'entendre. There has even been agreement to discard the traditional long knives carried as much for cutting through the bush as for self-defense. Such determination by officials both local and regional in Togo have peacefully settled over 740 potentially lethal disputes over the past two years, say authorities. Généralement, nous réussissons à, à concilier les parties. Lorsque les, les, les parties sont conciliées, nous débouchons sur une entente qui peut promouvoir la, la paix en famille, la paix au village, la paix entre les communautés. Years of reconstruction following Angola's post-colonial civil war that lasted three decades, claimed an estimated 800,000 lives and displaced millions, is a vivid example of dividends accrued from peace. Efforts continue to rid the environment of landmines, which were strewn across vast swathes of land during the war, and which can take a heavy toll on both humans and animals to this day. The animals animals here era demasiado, mas os elefantes, os leões, eh, onça e zebra também aqui, eh, rinos, aqui estava bastante. Peace has become vital in the restoration of the once thriving ecosystem in the Okavango Delta, and former child soldier Elias Nunga is championing conservation efforts to help reclaim wildlife populations. Precisamos de conservar os animais, conservar a floresta, é, conservar o peixe, sabendo qual é, é o uso que é mais importante para nós conservar esses, esse território. Então, também para nós conseguirmos se der bem com os animais, 
de agora até em diante. Então, essa coisa, eu acho que... Outras coisas que não estou a me lembrar, coisa que eu vejo mais importante. When the wildlife returns, so will humans displaced by war. But that's not all. Thriving animal populations will boost tourism and provide employment for the youth in one of Africa's largest conservation projects. In the Central African Republic, reconstruction and peace building is being championed by a variety of stakeholders, among them the African diaspora. Civil society organizations supported by the diaspora are providing invaluable help to communities torn apart by conflict. Widows, orphaned children, destroyed homes and infrastructure are just some of the consequences of the civil war in the country. <laughs> Et aujourd'hui, ACFK a un volet pour créer un fonds pour permettre à ces jeunes filles de, de mettre en place un système pour leur permettre de s'autofinancer et créer une structure pour que, à la sortie de, de, de la formation, ils puissent trouver un travail. The French-based ACFCA NGO has made it its mission to provide materials, furniture and equipment to help rebuild training colleges and orphanages in the CAR. These institutions have provided refuge and given a new hope to young women affected by conflict. With much of the country's male population either displaced or killed in the war, women in the CAR have stepped up to protect themselves from perpetrators of gender-based violence and other vices. In Libya, where prolonged civil war has worsened gender-based sexual abuse on women, Powerful voices by women peace activists have been significant in outing and shaming perpetrators of sexual violence and at the same time solidifying women's active participation in the country's peace and political processes. The Libyan Women's Platform for Peace started as a movement back in 2011, even before Gaddafi was killed. So we came together, uh, 35 women from different walks of life, and decided that women have to be and have to have uh, an important say in the new Libya. The Silencing the Guns initiative, which is a flagship program of the African Union's Agenda 2063, the continent's blueprint for its socio-economic transformation, places emphasis on the important role women play in Africa's peace and security agenda, and that such efforts are more sustainable when women have equal roles in the prevention of violent conflict. And we wanted to have an inclusive transition that is based on transitional or restorative justice, that is based on rule of law, respect of human rights, uh, and also where there is gender equality. We felt from early on that women were exclu uh, excluded by different factions, be it tribal, so-called civil, lib uh, liberal, but they are all patriarchal. And they see no place for women in politics. They only instrumentalize and use women for their own agendas. Activists like Zara Lange know the path to peace is a slow and lengthy process. It's uh, in order to have uh, a meaningful and sustainable peace process in Libya, uh, the process needs to um, be inclusive, not inclusive only of Libyan stakeholders, but also of regional and international stakeholders. Peaceful resolutions take time, of course, and its stakeholders sometimes even longer to find common ground. In Africa's east, rising urban crime has seen an increase in the use of illegally owned guns by young people. The Korogocho slum in Kenya's capital city, Nairobi, is the bustling home to an estimated 200,000 people. 
Here, Rose Mbone, the founder of the Legend Kenya NGO, works to reform young criminals who have engaged in gun crime, cooperating with law enforcement agencies to successfully rehabilitate the youngsters under an amnesty program. When I meet Rose, he keeps telling me, I want to see you, I want to talk with you. I want, I, so I ask myself, why, why Rose telling me you want to talk with me? First thing, he tell me, sit down, let's drink a soda. Yeah, cold one. Billy was a gangster, a leader feared even by other gangsters. He and other reformed criminals say Rose is so effective because they're from the same background. I had a brother, my elder brother. He was arrested for participating in criminal activities. He was able to appeal and was released in 2012. He was only out for six months and was shot dead. So that, that was like a wake-up call for me. After my friend died, Rose talked to me, reflecting of, of my family, told me this life, Moses, right now in your family you are remaining only one. What if you die right now? Moses, I'm talking to you. And I changed. Rose Mboni also works with young women who have been rescued from prostitution, drug abuse or domestic violence. I used to mobilize youths and talk to them and tell them the importance of uh, active non-violence. Trying also to encourage them that there is an alternative to crime. You don't have to commit crime to be a superstar in the community. During the 2020 Extraordinary Summit on Silencing the Guns, African heads of state extended the program by 10 years. The decision to extend the initiative to 2030 included calls for the redoubling of efforts over the next decade towards adopting initiatives to silence the guns and promoting the participation and contribution of African citizens, in particular women and youth, towards a peaceful and secure Africa. I look at my daughter and I see a brighter future because I know with the current work that we are doing, we are making it a bit easier for the next generation. <laughs>